Well, this feels a little bit weird, picking up the camera and talking to it. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while, so hopefully I remember how to use this thing. Hopefully I'm actually recording right now. Um, but yeah, I've got a week off of work, so I loaded up my car and I'm heading on a road trip. Um, you know, as usual, I don't have like a super specific plan. I'm heading up north uh, to Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna spend, you know, how many days I'm gonna spend there or where else I'm gonna go, but that's my general plan right now. Right now it is about 12.30 on Saturday, just getting out of Phoenix. Um, you know, it's still like 100 degrees here in Phoenix, so some cool weather will be nice up in Wyoming. It'll only be, you know, mid 50s in the day and mid 30s at night, so that'll be refreshing. But yeah, tonight my goal is to get to Salt Lake City, but since I'm getting such a late start, I wouldn't be arriving there until 11 o'clock or midnight, and I don't know if I want to drive that late um, on the first day, so, you know, we'll see, but uh, yeah, this will be an exciting week. Hopefully I get some good video. So I just passed up into Flagstaff. I've never driven up this way before. Um, it's my first time going through Flagstaff. I think I'm mostly out of Flagstaff now, but as you can see, there's, you know, nice mountains, nice green trees, um, a lot different than Phoenix. First little stop on my drive here today. Um, I was driving past Horseshoe Bend, um, which I've been wanting to get to. I didn't realize it was on the drive that I'm doing today, so I figured I'd better stop. Um, so yeah, hiking out to it right now. Gonna go take a look and see what it's all about. Well, I made it out here, out here to Horseshoe Bend. Um, a lot of people out here, but it is a very cool view. Well, that's my last little look at Horseshoe Bend. Uh, got some photos. Um, you know, it would be cool to hang out longer um, at another time, but I still have a lot of driving ahead of me, so yeah, I should probably get back to the road. Okay, just like that, back from Horseshoe Bend. Like I said, it was just a quick, like less than one and a half miles there and back. Um, but yeah, I gotta get back on the road now because it's already five o'clock and I still wanna make it to Salt Lake City, but we'll see, that's a lot more driving. So less talking, more driving. state lines into Utah so I'm gonna be stopping for gas here in just a minute um, and then yeah hopefully be mobbing up to Salt Lake City but uh, we'll see man I'm just leaving the gas station here in Utah and look at that sky there's some storms rolling in um, but look at the sunset on those clouds it's crazy I'm telling you when road tripping Rolly things from the gas station. Doesn't matter what they are, taquitos, hot dogs, whatever. Anything that's on the little, you know, heat rollers at the gas station, man, they always come in clutch. They're pretty cheap and they're delicious every time, you know? We just can't go wrong with rolly things at the gas station. All right, well, I know it's kind of dark in here, but, um, yeah, I made it to my destination for the night. Um, I made it a little bit past Salt Lake City, actually. Um, I was driving, and honestly didn't feel that tired, so I just kept driving. Um, I'm just barely past Salt Lake City. It's in, like, Farmstown or Farmston or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just camping in a Cabela's parking lot for the night. There's Cabela's right there. Um, they allow people to park RVs and campers and stuff, so. Uh, yeah, it's like 1 o'clock now, so, yeah, I guess I'll get to sleep. Um, and then tomorrow I only have, uh, like, 
just under five hours, I think, to get to Grand Teton. So, yeah, so that's exciting. Uh, successful first day. It feels good to be back out on the road, you know, just moving and wandering again, which is, you know, it's good. I love it. So, I guess that's it for today. See you in the morning. It's like 8.30. Um, I originally woke up at like 7. Yeah, but then I just stayed here because I'm tired. Um, I guess that long day of driving caught up to me. <sighs> I guess I need to focus camera, focus. I should get up, uh, get some clothes on and get moving. Alright, breakfast is all ready. Got just a nice little bowl of scrambled eggs and a nice cup of dollar store instant coffee, you know. just right outside the national park now i'm heading into the visitor center there's a visitor center right outside the entrance so i'm gonna pop in first um because they close at five o'clock uh pop in get a map and some information and then head on in well i'm just leaving the visitor center now i got got my maps you just keep on slamming clothes Look at how nice this spot is. Look at that view. Just overlooking the whole national park, the Teton Mountains over there. It's beautiful. Toss a little garlic salt and pepper on there, and she's just about ready to go. Just using my plate here as a makeshift lid to hold some of the heat in. We'll see how this goes. Let's take a bite, see how this is. That's delicious. Mm, 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 mm. This is certainly an upgrade from my last road trip. Last road trip is just gas station food and canned food and you know dehydrated camp meal itself. So. Also, look at that view again. Absolutely incredible. The mountains back there. All right. Well, I got my dishes cleaned up, so. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of time to just organize my food crates and cookware and whatnot. Um, I don't have that much stuff and it's not that messy, but it's just easier to stay on top of it than to try to catch up uh, later on after it's a huge mess. I think it'll get pretty dark pretty quick here. It looks like there's some storm clouds um, hanging over um, the national park right there because you know obviously it looks nice over there and just kind of dark and gloomy over there. So. We'll see what that means for tomorrow, but um, yeah, gonna get stuff organized and then hop on my computer. All right, 
I have crawled into the car for the night. It is only, it's only about 7.45, but uh, the sun is almost completely down and the temperature is dropping pretty quick. So, you know, it's easier to stay insulated in the car than get really cold and try to warm back up without, you know, a heater. So, I'm hopping in the car. I'm gonna put some layers on uh, for the night. Like right now, it's I think it's about 45 degrees, but it's supposed to drop down to about Look like 34 or 33 degrees tonight, so that's pretty chilly, especially since you know I live in Phoenix now, so used to a little bit warmer weather. I even saw on the weather app it said there's a possible chance of snow tonight. Oh, hopefully, I don't wake up just buried in snow, but I don't think it's quite cold enough for that. But that'd be kind of cool if I wake up to a light dusting of snow. Man, I, I miss mountains and I miss water, and um, being in Phoenix, we don't get much of that, so. This trip was much needed. But yeah, that's about it for night two on the road here. Um, Sunday night, tomorrow will be Monday morning. So yeah, super successful day today. And yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow.